Brave Browser has recently announced that you can bring your own model, including the local model from Olama into your browser. Yes, you don't have to use any API. You don't have to use OpenAI. You don't have to pay for Brave's Leo. All you can do is if you have got a decent enough computer with Olama installed in your local computer, you can use a, that Olama endpoint to power your Brave browser. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do the same thing. And I'm going to also show you disabling my Wi-Fi, how it actually works. So without my Wi-Fi, you can believe that I don't have any internet connection I don't have local LAN connection and I'm going to show you how this entire thing works even when I do not have my Wi-Fi this is quite magical the only catch is that at this point this is available only with brave browser nightly which is like their developer tester version but again if you are already using brave that's highly likely that you are not an average internet user because average internet users use the default browser that comes with the operating system on my Mac, I'm using Brave for most of the things. So I'm going to show you how first you can have your Brave browser nightly. After you have your Brave browser nightly, how you can enable this particular feature, which Brave calls us bring your own model. Let's get started. The very first step is for you to install Brave browser nightly. You can go to Brave browser nightly website and install it. After you have installed it, the next important requirement is that you need to have Olama installed. So I'm going to open Olama. In my computer, I already have Olama installed. If you do not know how to install Olama, please check out my tutorial linked in the YouTube description. It is quite simple, very straightforward. Go to olama.ai and then start downloading it. After you have successfully installed Olama for the very, very first time, you have to download a model from Olama. But if you want to check if Olama is running fine, you can select Olama serve in your favorite command terminal. And in my case, as you can see here at port 11434 localhost one, Olama is successfully running the serving the model. So in this case, I'm trying to run the Llama 3 model. If you do not have Llama 3 for the first time, you have to do Olama pull Llama 3. But in my case, Olama run Llama 3 works completely fine because I already have Llama 3 downloaded. So this is all happening completely on my local machine, but I'm still connected to the internet because there are certain things that I want to show you with the internet. At this point, we have two important things ready. We have the browser brave browser nightly available and then we have a local model olama now it is time for us to connect both this is the first time i'm using browser nightly brave browser nightly so there are certain steps that i have to do but after you do that you can actually open brave browser nightly within your local computer and after you do this then all we have to do this is connect our olama endpoint within our brave browser nightly so I'm going to open a simple URL just to show I'm still connected to the internet. I'm going to click a particular news article. I'm going to quickly summarize this with Brave Browser Nightly. So you can see there is Leo AI tools. So we can click summarization. And once you click summarization, it is going to use the default model that is available provided by the cloud services of Brave. But what we are going to do is we are going to go to settings, click Leo and then select a bring your own model. And here is where you can add your own model. We are going to add the Llama 3 model. But the first thing is you need to add the server endpoint, which we have already tested that it works completely fine. So select the model name which you want to request from there and give like a nickname label that you want to use. So at this point, you know, we have got Llama 3 as the model that we have selected, then use that as a default model for your new conversation. So that means anytime you open Leo, it is going to use a Llama 3. At this point, you can still see that it is powered by Mistral. So when I say, who are you? You can see at the top, it says Mistral by Mistral AI, but you can go to the settings and then select the model that we have created, which is a Llama 3. So I can go and ask any question like how is life and then it is going to explain me how is life. So at this point, we are pretty clear that we have successfully connected our Olama with the Brave browser nightly. So I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi connection has been disabled. I don't have any active internet at this point connected to this computer. So I can still chat with Leo AI. 
because it is not using any model from the internet. So I can select this text, right click it and then select Leo AI tools and click summarize. And it says, oh, there is a network connection which is quite expected. So I'm going to select the model select the gear icon, select the model. And then once I select the local model that I have used, now it offers me a summarization. So I can chat with that, ask it to give me a tweet based on it. It will give me a tweet based on it. And I can go ahead and then ask, maybe give a LinkedIn post or whatever, like whatever you want to chat with a page, you can chat with this thing. In fact, Brave also does it by default. So you can select Leo AI tools and then say tagline or social media. So you can click click tagline and it will give you a very small tagline that you can use as a hook either for your YouTube title or LinkedIn post or tweet. So all we have done is we have successfully managed to include our Olama model, which is an open AI compatible endpoint that is served by Olama Surf. The model has been downloaded from Hugging Faces Model Hub and that model is available within our local computer that ultimately helps brave browser power their leo ai using our own model with the latest feature that is called bring your own model this is available only with a brave browser nightly but i think this is a stellar feature you should definitely check it out if you are somebody who is passionate about local models or owning your own ai models see you in another video happy prompting